Two months have passed since the brutal murder of Floyd County native Amber Spradlin. Amber was murdered at the house of Dr. Michael McKinney, and we know that he was there, his son MK was there, and Roy Kidd was there. Uh, there were two other people there that the, has not been named. Um, but they're not felt to have anything to do with the with the murder. In a bid to uncover the truth, Kentucky State Police have gained access to the phones of most individuals present on the night of the murder, with exceptions being sent to the FBI in Louisville. We were told by the Kentucky State Police that Dr. McKinney nor his son, either one, are cooperating with the investigation. They will not talk to the police. They have not made any statements. They did have to provide DNA and fingerprints by uh, warrants they had, were forced to provide that but they haven't cooperated with the investigation at all dr mckinney has not made any statements publicly about it at all while evidence is still being collected the gathered materials have been sent to the crime lab for dna processing officials caution that this crucial step could take up to three months i'm told that dr mckinney at least has already retained Terry Dean Jacobs as his criminal defense attorney. Terry Dean Jacobs is a top-notch criminal defense attorney. Maybe the best criminal defense attorney in Eastern Kentucky. Nothing is getting by Terry Dean Jacobs. If KSP messes this up, this case could very well be thrown out, even if guilt is clear. Are you ready for a new school year? What better way to start a new school year off right than with a new device on the network that keeps our students and teachers connected? Appalachian Wireless. Whether you need a new smartphone, wearable, or an iPad, we have your back-to-school solution. Visit AppalachianWireless.com or go into one of our 26 retail locations for our back-to-school deals that'll help you show up and show out this school year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Several months before the murder, Floyd County transitioned its 911 services from state police to a dispatch center managed by the Prestonsburg city government. When news broke that there were two 911 calls from Dr. McKinney's house the morning Amber's body was discovered and that one of those calls went unanswered, I think the people in Floyd County put their guard up. We have got to listen to the phone calls and we do feel like it was something that should have been responded to, but no one responded to the first 911 phone call. We feel like that Amber was still alive at that time, and we feel like if someone had responded to that 911 call, that it would have changed the course of everything. Amber Spradlin's brutal murder involving a total of 11 stab wounds to her head, face, and neck has left the community in a state of shock and fear. Our family has, has decided that we will not be silenced. We're not going to stop until we get some answers and we get some justice. There have been way too many young women that have gone missing or found dead and nothing's being done about it. And it's just it, enough is enough and it's time for it to stop. This this cannot stand. We Somebody's got to be locked up. We, we cannot. Amber's name must be in every one of our mouths every day until somebody is locked up. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Ethan Miller.